there we are. Okay. <clears throat> um, last we left it, we had this this abomination. Well, it's not an abomination, but it's it's pretty bad. <clears throat> stuff um, in weird ways and also we have multiple matching results in our completion suggestions um, <clears throat> I think the last thing to do here we can't do the last thing until we resolve some of these issues This is useful. Okay, I know what I want to do first. Not even that. <clears throat> we got some ES on There's some land notes. Package JSON changes. Don't like that that's inconsistent. If I'm going to commit it, push it. I want it to be consistent. Yeah, and this too. Just as a rule, we'll only break these when they reach over five. files, they seem good. And then we'll just add all the files. Five percent of the way to first MVP conclusion suggestions needs more work. Forget if I change the password. Let me just grab that. No, actually, I don't think I did. Nice. Okay, and we should be able to see it. 
here. I got a code. Back to the jam. We wanted to categorize our completion suggestions. It would be suggestions. So very well. And project variables.
curious though, because when we tested it before, we only tested it with things that matched. Let's run it. So like, I'll show you what I mean. So we're testing it here and we started with P. And of course we saw these parser options, but what if we did T for TypeScript? Are the parser options still in there? No. So there's name matching happening. Inside of VS Code on the other end. It's useful. Okay. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, so we saw just now when we did a P, there's so many parsers. Okay, so this is because here, every time that we do something to this document, it reparses it. And so um, each new component analyzer adds its variables and stuff to the completion suggestion cache. But there's no way to ever remove them, so they just stay there. So every time I make an edit in that file, the number of suggestions just goes up and up and up. fuzzy matching, but do we do it based on scope as well? So like if I come in here and I start typing P. Is there parser? There's parser. Okay, so these are in this scope though. Hmm. <laughs> our suggestions even matters. Uh, suggestion. Okay, so they want us to organize things the way that Svelte does. That's what this is telling us. Okay. 
they're all like right here. So we're just gonna get rid of it for a second so we can read it. Sufficient to create an item from just a label. Just to look at these. Let's go look at them. So it doesn't say anything about the order in which they'll be shown, or rather, it doesn't say anything about how to orient items in the list. We can only assume that it's not going to matter that much. information about this. <sighs> it's closed. Why is it closed? Okay, so we have to do filtering on our side. I guess that's what they want those completion providers to be for. So if we want relevant results to show first, then we just show them. And we don't show these other ones. <laughs> so this kind of raises a question, right? When do I results? Outside local scope? No, not local scope. Just any relevant scope in the scope chain. How would that lead to problems? It make it impossible to have imports. Like, there's times when, oh, the use cases are tricky. 
The trouble is that this intelligence is like such an intuitive tool. It's kind of like for a while I worked on a um, an iOS keyboard as a side project and figuring out what's the best way to implement autocomplete suggestions there is sort of on the same channel, right? Like, how do you know that a suggestion is good or bad? Scope definitely factors in. But does it? Does it control? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> this doesn't seem important, but it is. It determines how we're gonna design the suggestion provider. Let me think, let me think. So what's an easy situation that we know uh, object properties? You can only show possible matching properties on the object. That's an easy one. Another possible thing, we've got instance properties versus static properties. If not an instance, we show static properties. So what are these? These are rules that govern. Rules govern filtering. Where did the line 
the system so that rules are easily composed, we can tailor filter rules as needed. So can anyone else. Filter rule need to know. Yes, that does. Just give them a few parameters and implement each one. Each rule is going to have a context. So these are their queries. over the list of all completion suggestions. really queryable. But that's the basic idea. Alright, but anyways, what does a filter rule look like? So... It's basically a series of conditions to control which items are excluded the master list, oh sorry, from the, uh, from the full list. Can ignore the idea of rules and governing filtering and instead just return all variables for now. But we will need to know scope, so we need to decide what attributes they have. The attributes are the things that we can filter on. This kind of gives us a step that we can take right now in the right direction. Okay, so. <clears throat> that means we can pick off some of these low-hanging fruit. So first off, our scene documents. to hear to be able to remove all suggestions from a previously seen document and allow the document to be reanalyzed. So it make a lot of sense if 
our suggestions were scoped to a document. But our completion suggestion cache So what we need in our cache is not to have this referential. Yeah, which is what I noted last time. These don't need to be referential. We don't need like a list of things that map scopes and items together. What we need our, the concept of a global entry. This would be Interface completion. Completion suggestion, which will have a URI. It'll have a scope. to the URI in question, or global. Don't have a type. Which would be a string. Object, literal, variable, Yeah. 
this is located to. Function or variable? Do we need to know if it's a function? Yes. would be an array of completion suggestions. List of parameters when calling a function. Probably all we need. Okay. Oh yeah. We probably want them all to have an ID as well. may not need to be a number later. Okay, so we need to start here and work our way up. So we added the concept of a scope here. We do still want component scopes. using that. Okay. But the 
this needs to be changed. Okay. Walk and construct components. This is still legit. Here will be a component scope. For a completion suggestion, we probably also want kind. Const or const or what? Why do we need the kind? We'd only need the kind if we were going to. Implement error detection, and we do want to do that, just not yet. Okay. So for our component analyzer,
Okay. Type will be, because it's an object pattern, it's going to be We actually don't know, do we? We need to get that from our identifier node? No. Object pattern has properties, it has an identifier and property itself, which has a value. <sighs> For now, we're just going to set the type to object. This by trying to infer the type. got all the properties that we need so we can do get rid of that space we can do this dot completion suggestion set dot add completion suggestion Bam. Searchable. Well, I guess it'll it'll be fine. Some suggestion dot name plus suggestion suggestion. Scope. Scope ID. That 
that should be enough. So we're basically, basically saying that same name, same scope. We didn't make it a map. Map from string to question suggestion. It's new map. Okay. going to need public remove all suggestions with URI. Well, we may go for a more generic version of so string, uh, sorry, URI string. So it'll be completion suggestion and then key string. Okay, so suggestion, completion suggestion, key, no, close handle, string. Okay, so what we want to do is f suggestion dot. Not equal URI, double equal URI. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is just delete it to the desktop. Let's not do it actively. So we do
search for a comma. Uh, um, search for a comma. That's what we could do. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to the end and we're gonna search for. No, can't do that. <sighs> search for double slash. And we can just go back three. Boom. Parsing colon. Yeah, there's a better way. Okay. Will it paste them correctly? No, it will not. Because we split our search. Okay, so here. You know what? We're gonna want them all on their own lines once we plug them into the constructor. There's just gonna to be too many. So Do you want the commas though? Except not after that one.
That's nice. A little extra effort, but we got some easy copy paste. But the most important thing we can do here is... Make this this dot generate D. We'll make it this. We'll make it completion suggestion dot generate D. Okay, so have it static. Generate D. Decide to change it later, we can dot get moniker. Boom. Now at the end, I want to do two move dot for each. And here we just want to do this dot suggestion map dot. Suggestions. We can add suggestions. We can remove them. This is now broken because it needs to be. So normally in CAC you could do this, and you do Alt S, and you do S of colon uh, of colon oh we can't do colon tell you what let's not mess around or actually yeah, let's, so we'll still do it but s double slash is Oh, just 
terrible. Okay, what? No. Oh, I know what we can do. suggestibles here and that means that we can do all of our scope based stuff here where we have the remaining errors the first thing we can do is do on document load here here's what we can do if seen document only have one set of suggestions for each of the documents and they're much more searchable now so we can get rid of that comment we can revise this all right so here we go Seeing documents is a map. just going to convert it over because we've got our completion suggestion cache. So 
here we're just gonna do ghosts. Um, suggestions. We're gonna think about the rule structure that we're gonna have later. Be cool. Let's, let's Function suggestions equals an array. Yes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this dot. Figure out a way to make suggestibles the kind, 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 kind. We had that open. Did we close it? We did. No. It's here. Yeah. Completion item kind. And that's certainly useful. Okay. We don't need that. Suggestions. suggestion is a thing. So here we could do oop, oop, oop. suggestible. Oh no. Okay, so we're gonna do label which will be suggestible dot name. We're gonna do kind, which will be We probably want the completion suggestions to have a map from I actually 
know what these are. Absolutely useless search. Okay. <clears throat> no, here. Close that. So we've got that, that information here. Can we do variable? For now, maybe we'll find a more appropriate map later. So here we want to do... Boom. So now if we restart it, we should get list of all the things that we've mapped. We've only mapped one, it's parser. But there should only be one parser. It should list it as a variable. We probably want to list it as a folder just for visibility's sake. Restart it. just one and I bet I bet now there will still be just one oh, 
Please let there be just one. Sure is. Hey, we got it fixed. Got it cleaned up. This is good work. All right. Um, gone over an hour here, so I'll have to stop. Um, if you're watching, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.